Hi everybody, it's Sue from Sue's Puzzles. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a review on the brand Pomegranate, Pomegranate Puzzles. Before doing this review, I did this puzzle called the Tower of Babel and also this puzzle called Map of Heavens. Okay. This one was by Andrea Solaris. All these puzzles by Pomegranate are actual works of art that are like in museums. I had somebody ask me to do a review on the pomegranate puzzles and I was happy to because I had some that I had purchased. I also have this one called Autumn Hillside by Franklin Carmichael, which I'm going to open so you can see how the puzzles come and I'll go over the quality, what I liked and what I didn't like. So let's get started. Okay, as you can see, this comes wrapped in a cellophane um, wrapping. And here is still the price tag that was on this puzzle, 1,000 pieces, $18.95. Now I'm not sure where this was sold. I got it at a resale store. But we shall open them and see how this puzzle comes. Okay. First of all, I have to say that the boxes of the pomegranate puzzles are just beautiful. I mean, they are really thick and a very nice quality box and all the sides are very beautiful it has all kinds of information puzzle size the name of the company the name of the artist the name of the painting it actually shows um an actual puzzle piece size and then tells you a little bit about the artist and everything in the painting here so that's really nice. So I really liked that aspect of the puzzle. The boxes are just super, super high quality. When you open it, it comes with a bag and that's it with your puzzle pieces inside. But the nice part is, is this bag is a resealable Ziploc bag. So it is sealed here. You can't just unzip it. You have to cut it. So let me cut it and I can show you what the pieces are like. I don't know if it went far enough. No, nope, must need to go further. Okay, so then you can get in. It's a really nice Ziploc bag. So the pieces, I don't know if you can see very well, but they are very, very thick. And a little bit matte. It's got a little bit of shine to it, but not bad at all. There's like next to no glare when you put them together, even in um, lighting at night. Although we did have to put a very bright light over the puzzle to see it well enough to put it together. 
But I really like this, the zip block that it comes with. So you don't lose any of your pieces. Now I didn't put this one together because I just opened it, but that's how they come. Very, very nice puzzle thickness. Very, very nice box. Everything about that I really, really like. Now, getting into the puzzle itself. The first one I put together was this one. Map of the Heavens. Now, after it was put together, the image is just gorgeous. I mean, the puzzle is just beautiful. I have it here. I'll show you a, a further away shot in a minute. The one thing I didn't like is, and that's why I'm leaving it here, is moving pieces. Now, if you have a section of pieces, even a small section. We'll just take a little bit of it. Okay. Now, this here is hauling together pretty, pretty good. But the other one that I did was not like that. This other one, let me see if I can get some pieces for you. Okay. Here's an example of the other one where you try and move it and it, it just falls apart. I had a very hard time and this is only like not even three by three and the pieces just fall apart on you. You can't move large sections at all. They just drop off before you can even get them to where you want them to go. I don't even know how this goes together now. I'm gonna put it back in here. But that I really disliked about the puzzle that I couldn't move any pieces from one section of the puzzle to the other without them falling apart. Now this puzzle, the map one, all of the words on this are so small. Let's see if I can get, I mean, I don't think I see that terrible. I know I have some eyesight issues, but the words, you know, you can see it pretty good when I hold it here, but when you're putting it together, it's like looking like that. And that, and I can't make out any of these words. And so putting this puzzle together was just a nightmare for me. I mean, I basically put it together by piece shape. The um, graphics on here were so hard. There's so many little angels and stuff on here. And then you're looking at something that looks like, like this. And there's probably 30 of them on here. And so you don't know where this goes. I based everything off of these little lines that go through here and the, lot, the circle around here to get this together. And I worked on this particular puzzle a good week, and I was about halfway done. Now, I'm not a fast puzzler, but I can usually get a thousand piece puzzle done at most two days, you know? And that, that was a week and I wasn't even half done. And then it took us almost a whole nother week. My husband helped me to get this puzzle done. And I was so happy to be done with it. I was tired of it. It wasn't any fun for me. It was just a nightmare. But the image is gorgeous. When it's done, it's beautiful. I mean, and the piece quality is nice. Like I said, this one snaps together pretty good and holds together pretty good, but then I did 
this one, this Tower of Babel one over here. And it just falls apart. You can't lift anything or move anything. And this one too, well, see, look at this one. I just lift this, it just, it just falls apart. I mean, you can't move it or do anything with it. And then I thought this image would be easier because I could like do all the white and then separate the greens and that out. But the problem with this is there's too many repeating colors. I mean, there's so many people wearing orange and there's so much white. It's not only the tower, but it's the pieces on the bottom and then the trees, you know, you got some over here and you got some over here, but yet the color green here on the ground is the same as the green over here on the ground. And so it is just really, really difficult. This puzzle, my husband helped me from start to finish on, and it took us a week to complete. I was happy to be done with this one too. And I was planning on doing a third one before the review, and I just decided I have just had enough with this, um, brand. I, you know, it's not a puzzle quality issue. The quality is really kind of nice. Um, the one I don't like is the Tower of Babel because I couldn't move the pieces around the puzzle, but the puzzle pieces do click in. You, you get a click when you put them in and they feel really nice. The issue is too much of the same color and the same um, texture going through the puzzle. And both of them, I had a hard time getting the frame together. I got it three quarters of the way around, but I had puzzle pieces that would fit in multiple places that they just felt like they would go into that place. You know, and then they ended up being in the wrong place. And so I couldn't get the edges together on either one until I got some of the inside pieces done on it, which I've never had that problem before. I've always been able to do the edge pieces on a puzzle. And I had all the edge pieces out, but they were all, they were in the wrong place and I had to move them around on both puzzle pieces, both puzzles. And the same holds true for when you're putting the inside together. Pieces seem to fit, but then they're in the wrong place and you need to move them. So these puzzles, I do not believe, are for newer puzzlers, beginner puzzlers or whatever. And I'm not a brand new puzzler. I've been puzzling for quite a while now, but not like all my life or anything. I just started a few years ago. But... I started before the pandemic and all that. I didn't come back during the pandemic. So I've been at it for, oh, two, three years or, you know, somewhere around that time frame. And although I don't, I'm not a fast puzzler. I don't think I'm a novice puzzler. I do okay for myself. I'm able to do solid color puzzle. I'm able to do some of the harder puzzles and I enjoy it being harder. But these two puzzles I did not enjoy. I mean, I just, they were frustrating. And I said to my husband, you know, I wanted to do that third puzzle, but oh man, I didn't have another week to put into it. I mean, I'm already going at like two and a half weeks to try and get this puzzle review done just in recording, or not recording anything, just puzzling. And that, and I didn't even record any footage of me putting the puzzles together because I intended to do the third puzzle that way. So that's what I, my take on these pomegranate puzzles. They're just gorgeous. They really are. The pieces are nice. It's hit or miss if the fit is tight on them or not. They're more of a matte finish that you don't have much glare when you're looking at them. But there's so many repeating colors and that, that if you are puzzling at night, you need more light to be able to see them. Um, if you're going to do the map puzzle, I suggest you are young 
or have a really good pair of bifocal glasses because mine were not good enough to see that puzzle. And that it didn't matter what lighting I was using, I couldn't read the words. Now that it's together and I can see it all together, it's a little bit easier to tell, but just seeing the, the little sections of the words, I couldn't make out them well enough to put it together in the, you know, easily. And then there was so much gray and so much angels all that all over it that you couldn't tell where the pieces went. So if you're up for a challenge, if you've been puzzling for, you know, all your life and and you can do a thousand piece puzzle in an hour and a half or so, then this might be your cup of tea. If you like um, museum quality artwork on your puzzles rather than puzzles like, I like, well, I like a lot of the Disney and the flowers and, and things with more color separation, I find more relaxing. But if you like, you know, the more painted artist type quality images, then this will be your cup of tea. And that, but don't expect them to be simple because they are not, but they are a nice quality puzzle. So that's my take on pomegranate puzzles. I don't think I'll be doing another one anytime soon. Even though I have three more to do sitting on my shelf, I think I'm going to wait another year or two to, before I try them out again. But we'll see. If they come out with some other images that have more color separation, I may give them a go because, like I said, the quality's there. But that's my take. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you do, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I intend to do a lot more puzzle reviews and puzzle hauls and whatever I can find puzzle related to show to you guys. I'm My channel's nothing super fancy or anything. I just enjoy doing puzzles and telling you guys what I think of them and hopefully you can get a little bit of information out of my videos. So you all take care and I will talk to you soon. See ya.
Thank you.